Inside LSU Gymnastics is back and boy do we have a great first show for you for this 2019 season. We're going to celebrate 42 years and history in the Southeastern Conference and we're going to take a look at your Tigers and the Cal Bears, a top 10 matchup in the Maravich Center which was packed to the rafters. All of that and much more coming up right now. Inside LSU Gymnastics with DD Bro is brought to you each week by Women's Hospital. When experience matters, choose Woman's Hospital. TJ Ribs, legendary Louisiana barbecue. Dow, for more than 60 years, Dow has been a dedicated teammate for LSU. Go Tigers! And Assurance Financial. When you find the home you want to buy, choose a mortgage lender that can help you buy it. David Alello with Assurance Financial. Lending the way home buyers prefer it. Call David today to get pre-approved, 225-921-8152. Inside LSU Gymnastics with DD Bro is an exclusive presentation of the LSU Sports Television Network. Welcome inside LSU Gymnastics. Once again, from the beautiful and now famous LSU Gymnastics Training Center, one of the best in all of the world, right here in Baton Rouge. We're delighted to have you with us once again as we begin our seventh season inside this beautiful gymnastics facility and taking you behind the scenes each and every week for your LSU Tigers. The last time we were with you, LSU was getting prepared for the national championship coming off of the SEC regular season and tournament championships and an NCAA regional championship as well, rolled right into what became the closest finish in the history of the national championship finals. And it was a tremendous atmosphere. And now here we are. We've gone through the summer. We've gone through Gym 101, the holidays, and now we're shot out of a cannon to start the 2019 season in a big way on Friday night in the Maravich Center. It gives me great pleasure once again to bring into our broadcast Hall of Fame head coach Dee Dee Bro. Dee Dee, it was a tremendous atmosphere Friday night. We started off by, you know, welcoming you to a very special club in the history of the Southeastern Conference. Now the longest serving head coach ever in any sport. Congratulations. Well, thanks, Mike, and it's a small club. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's a very small, yeah, yeah. a very small club, but you know, we uh, we dropped some banners. Mm -hmm. We had tremendous atmosphere where there were folks all the way up to the to the rooftop in the in the uh, Maravich Center on Friday night. And they really, really watched your Tigers come out and, and compete with Reckless Abandon. You know, it's a great show. And we talked earlier before we started about the difference in being in the arena or, you know, staying home and watching it. And there's just so much entertainment. There's so much right. going on. You know, the gymnastics is incredible. We, had, we took on a number eight team. But it's everything that happens in the arena. You know, that holy cow <laughs> is cheaper than a movie. That's right. Um, it really is true. I mean, you, you told me that yeah. Reagan Carville was there and she was sitting up in the 300 level. A national and champion. <laughs> and she loved it sitting. She said, I'm general admission now. And yeah. then that's great. That shows you that, that not only is, are the tickets hard to come by, but that there's just not a bad seat now. But they're not hard to come by because right. we have great general admission right, tickets and um, we're always opening up uh, open open areas yeah, that you know yeah. the compressing the student section so we can sure. get people in that in that area but you know Reagan was up there and you <laughs> said you told Reagan it's because you wanted to be close to your banner that's right <laughs> of course the national championship banners and we dropped yeah. uh, we dropped the SEC banners we dropped yeah. our uh, super six banner for, for 2018 and I know that you look back fondly on that team but there are many many uh, important parts of the 18 team that are now part of the 19 team absolutely you? and you know, we got a great senior class but you know, the, we told our, our sophomores, freshmen last year, there were seven of them, that they had to grow. They had to give us more performances. They had to work harder in the summer. And I think we're seeing the fruits of their labor now. How about Juliana Canamello starting off the season, yeah. 985 on vaulting. She looks like she's tremendous potential uh, on that particular event. We saw her in it a year ago as yeah. well. We'll rely on her. Lexi Priestman with a gorgeous 9-9 as well. You know, and here, Lexi, and we talk about, you know, all of the things that she's had to overcome and she does a one and a half ball but right now we're doing a full we want to get a get a, a good body of work so that we can pace her and hopefully have her in multiple events like maybe three events mm -hmm. by the time we get to the end of our season but for her she won vaulting it's a beautiful right. beautiful vault and her lines are so good and um and you know she she set up Sarah Finnegan, you know, That's Sarah right. followed her and another another beautiful vault. And you know, here again, there's a one and a half in the gym, but we're only doing the, the full in competition because right now it's about consistency 
and and building towards the end. Sarah Finnegan, 9875, and the anchor, Kennedy Edney, with a 985 initial score. The Tigers yeah. right out of the gate, then you move it over to the uneven bars. You have, in Jay Clark, you've worked so hard on that event to perfect handstands, the lines, all of the great moves. It's right. just been tremendous to see the growth in that event. Well, you know, the, the, the beauty of that event right now is, you know, Sammy Durante as a freshman, she's coming back in and, and she leads us off. And um, Ruby Harrell, what a beautiful bar routine. Oof. I think the best bar routine we've seen her do. Yeah. And um, we just can't say enough positive things about how hard she's worked she and was how just good a she looks that's right, right now. She was just a quarter tenth <clears throat> off of her season high from a year ago, yeah. the 9925 to start the season. But then you just keep rolling. Kennedy Edney with a 99 on the event. Gorgeous handstand, stuck yeah. the landing coming off. And then Sarah Finnegan finishing you up there with a 99. 49.35 on uneven bars. A fine opening meet score. You know, and that's a great opening meet score, and it and it, it it gives us some space to to move forward, to improve. Don't have a lot of depth in that event, but we've got a lot of quality. 98.175 at the halfway point of the Tigers and the Cal Bears. Second half of the meet coming right at you right after this timeout. When you're expecting, you have expectations. But what if there was more? What if your caregivers were your teachers and your cheerleaders and they helped you plan and prepare so you can have a voice in your care? This is the experience of a lifetime and experience matters. Your experience starts with the Pregnancy Navigator at Woman's Hospital. Gotta love SEC Saturdays. What are you doing here? What are you doing here, Marty? I'm surprised you need anything else. It's just a few essentials. Come on, brother. We haven't even gotten to the shoes yet. Marty Smith, your third card is ready at the front. day today or maybe it's not maybe it's just a normal day in a normal place with normal crawfish prepared 36 ways maybe today you'll make that breakthrough and maybe tonight you'll break through too maybe it'll rain maybe you'll shine or today could just be one of those days for the unpredictable and the unencumbered at LSU maybe counts for a little something extra maybe absolutely When you're more than a fan, the game never ends. Greatness doesn't live in the end zone, at the net, or above the rim. It lives within every LSU student athlete. And it's your calling to bring out their greatness. On the field, in the classroom, and in life. We are the Tiger Athletic Foundation. For decades, we've been the team behind our Tigers. Join us. Be more than a fan. This segment of Inside LSU Gymnastics is brought to you by Assurance Financial. When you find the home you want to buy, choose a mortgage lender that can help you buy it. David Alello with Assurance Financial. Lending the way home buyers prefer it. Welcome back Inside LSU Gymnastics, our exceptional performance of the week brought to you by Woman's Hospital. When experience matters most, choose Woman's. Dee, Dee you know, right off the bat, Sarah Finnegan picks up right where she left off from a year ago, 39.675 in the all around. That's our exceptional performance of the week. You know, Sarah is truly exceptional. Everything she, everything she did Friday night is reflected in how she prepares and how she goes about her daily life. And um, she is exceptional, her gymnastics, Friday night was just an example of what our fans can look forward to throughout the entire season. And our highlights, as always, each and every show each season brought to you by TJ Ribs, legendary Louisiana barbecue. The second half of the meet, Dee Dee, starts out over on the balance beam. 
you move the momentum from bars right on over. And just seeing the level of talent on this event is really breathtaking. And you had a chance to work in some newcomers. Yeah, we did. You know, the, the kids, when they take that walk from bars over across the floor to, to, to balance beam it, it's kind of a lift. And mm. the, the fans really get excited and get into it. And, you know, going to balance beam, Christina Desiderio mm -hmm. starting us off, taking Aaron McAdegg's coveted spot and um, has done a fabulous job very very mature in her approach and you know she was an early she she came early she graduated early and came early so um, there's a lot of maturity in that very young lady but um, you know she started us off solid and then Bridget Dean I'm gonna mention Bridget mm -hmm. she's now doing two events for us did a great job on beam just uh, very mature very methodical in her process and uh, we look forward to that that routine getting better Sammy Durani bars last year only now now she's on balance beam and um admitted that you know this makes me a little bit nervous and, you know and, and <laughs> you can sometimes you catch her like not breathing you know and she has worked really hard every day on getting over there and, and, and i call it polishing the rocks getting the, getting the kinks out and making everything look like it's supposed to and look. she really really looked like a yeah. seasoned veteran with yeah. that 985 to yeah. open the season on the event you get beyond the halfway point of of, of balance beam and you really sense Okay, now here come our veterans. Yeah, you know, Kennedy's in there. She, she supports the middle of the lineup, sets up Reagan Campbell. Um, I think a, a absolute beauty on balance beam. It never stops complete flow. And you know, there's a deduction now in balance beam. If you stop I'm before a skill, that. if you mm -hmm. stop before a skill and you can go one gymnastics and you get to two gymnastics, that's a full tenth deduction. Yeah. So, you know, that that's something that you need to be mindful of as a fan, that these routines have to flow and you can't stop and think and take a pause. But uh, Reagan does that, and so does Sarah Finnegan. You know, you, you put a stopwatch on Sarah Finnegan, and you go, is it over already? Yeah, already. It just but, um, flows yeah, from beginning to end. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful routine. And she comes down and sticks the landing there, 995, to finish it up. Of course, the crowd comes to their feet yeah. because they know that when Sarah's feet hit the mat, it's now time to switch it over to the big mat, and that's the floor exercise. Yeah, floor exercise. And, you know, we're, we're excited about our floor lineup. We feel like we've got a, a you know, good bit of, of depth and maturity in that event. Um, Ruby Harold starting Ruby, you off. That's a new yeah, twist. Yeah, and that's a, that's a new role for her to be able to go first. Last year we kind of put her in and out, but this year um, I'm liking what I'm seeing in that first slot for her. She really got it going. The energy in that routine is is really upbeat. We've got to work on our landings. I mean, we we know that early. You know, going from from this incredible training environment where all of our landings are soft, you take it to the competition arena. There's some adjustments to be made, but um, you know the. I, th I thought our, our sequence in our lineup was very, very strong. Sarah Edwards just puts on a tremendous show. Yeah. I, I don't, she's probably one of the uh, one of the ones on the team whose smile is as big as the PMAC. <laughs> and she smiles throughout <laughs> the entire routine. But, um, you know, she, she set up McKenna. When she stepped off the floor and McKenna stepped out there, it was like the fans were so excited and so happy to see, see McKenna back in action and not with all that enthusiasm on the sideline, but to put it back on the floor. And she opened with a beautiful double layout. Her middle pass, we're being very conservative right now. Um, front lay, front full, which is, you know, it's a good pass, but, you know, we're, we want to get the front through to double tuck if that's possible mm -hmm. as we move through the year. But, you know, she's doing three events now, too. We'd like her to be able to vault and do balance beam for us. But, wow. um, and she would be an amazing yeah. addition to either yeah. one of those lineups. Of course, a crowd favorite, but Sarah Finnegan in that fifth spot on floor. There wow. again, you know, she was she mm. was beautiful. Opens with the with the two salto pass with the finishing with a two and a half on that pass, and then finishing with with two D's, two double backs with really nice landings. A little bit tired in that last landing, a little bit chest down, but other than that, mm. it was an absolute beautiful routine and um, what a way to, to, she set up Kennedy, you know, Kennedy right. went last and um, Kennedy had a little bit of a, a mess in, in the first pass, but man, let's go past that into that last Oof. pass. She brought it home really strong and um, yeah. we were very pleased with the outcome of the meet. 196.775 for your Fighting Tigers, beating the number eight Cal Bears in front of a packed house. It was the largest opening meet crowd in the history of the Maravich Center. Do you know, Dee, just a little quick fact before we go to break, that the Tigers, anytime we've ever put more than 9,000 fans in the Maravich Center, LSU's never lost a home meet. Oh my goodness, then we got a lot to look forward to, huh? We do, and we have a lot to look forward to <laughs> after can, this quick timeout he, right here. You he can get some facts, <laughs> Inside <man>. LSU Gymnastics. <laughs>
I love that. That's good. <laughs>2019 SEC Gymnastic Championship is headed to New Orleans, Louisiana on Saturday, March 23rd. Where the elite student athletes in the country will compete for the SEC Gymnastics Championship title. We'll see you in the Big Easy at Smoothie King Center on March 23rd. For more information and to purchase your tickets, visit secsports.com. SEC Gymnastics, it just means more. Big day today. Or maybe it's not. Maybe it's just a normal day in a normal place with normal crawfish prepared 36 ways. Maybe today you'll make that breakthrough. And maybe tonight you'll break through too. Maybe it'll rain. Maybe you'll shine. Or today could just be one of those days. For the unpredictable and the unencumbered, at LSU, maybe counts for a little something extra. Maybe. Absolutely. This segment of Inside LSU Gymnastics is brought to you by TJ Ribs. TJ Ribs, legendary Louisiana barbecue. Welcome back to this beautiful, beautiful LSU Gymnastics Training Center on the LSU campus in Baton Rouge. And you're watching Inside LSU Gymnastics. We're getting started on our seventh season already on this great show. And we're glad to have you with us as always. We're also glad to have Dow a part as a sponsor of our weekly segment. And Dow has been a trusted teammate of the LSU Tigers for more than 60 years. Go Tigers, says our friends at Dow. Dee Dee. 42 years here on this wonderful campus that you've had the helm of the LSU gymnastics program. Uh, you, you started with some modeling clay. Yeah. And look at what you've been able to do. Well, you know, it was Carl Maddox and Pat Newman, and um, it's been a long, long road between them and now, you know, what Joe Oliva has done for the athletic department in, in, in tandem with Tiger Athletic Foundation. But, you know, you look at uh, my incredible staff, the village that I've been able to put together and all the hard work and people that are totally committed, you included, mm -hmm. and um, what we've been able to do with all the support that we've gotten in these last years. Our Garrett Walvert had an opportunity to sit down with some of the people that Dee, Dee just mentioned to talk about 42 years and what that means in the Southeastern Conference. When you hear the names Paul Bear Bryant, Pat Summit, and Adolph Rupp, you think of long-standing success in the Southeastern Conference. Now in her 42nd season, Dee, Dee Bro has surpassed Adolph Rupp to become the longest tenured coach in SEC history. Since 1978, Bro's illustrious career has spanned seven American presidents, 11 LSU football coaches, and the Tigers are in the middle of a golden era. Coach Bro has swept the SEC regular season and tournament championships in back-to-back -back seasons, a first in league history. Since 2008, LSU has made seven trips to the Super Six, finishing as the national runner-up in 2016 and 2017. Bro's senior class of 2018 never lost a home meet, forging 35 wins in a row for the nation's longest home undefeated streak. Bro's longevity has placed her amongst the greatest to ever coach gymnastics in the SEC. 
Well, Dee Dee is a legend here at LSU and in now in the SEC. She has an unbelievable passion for her sport. Uh, to surpass Adolph Rupp and Pat Summit. Uh, those are legendary names in the SEC and across the country. Um, so it's a real tribute to her and what she's been able to accomplish here at LSU. Uh, it's so special and um, it's so awesome that I'm still here and a part of this program to witness it because she's been such a pioneer for the sport of gymnastics, NCAA gymnastics and club gymnastics, just gymnastics in general. Her legacy is incredible. She has fought and fought and fought and brought, brought gymnastics to where it is today. And so it's so exciting to be a part of that. And um, I, I love to see her recognized and honored for all that she's done. With over 700 career victories, 150 scholastic All-Americans, and 13 individual national champions, Dee Dee Bro's career at LSU is certainly brilliant. But it's her ability to adapt that has led LSU to a new level of success over the last decade. 42 years as the head coach of an SEC gymnastics program is almost more than you can wrap your arms around. But one thing Dee Dee Bro has brought in each of those 42 years is something you cannot purchase and that is daily enthusiasm. The thing is her enthusiasm has not changed at all for the sport and for coaching and for um, just impacting young women's lives every single day. And she's so good at adjusting her mentality and her training style depending on the individual. She's always been so good at that. Dee Dee's amazing. Uh, she's a legend around here and not even here, just honestly around the country. She's tough sometimes, but it's because um, it's because she wants the best from you and she knows that you have that potential. I mean, Dee Dee's a legend. I mean, competing for her in this university is in itself just such an honor. Um, I'm, I'm not sure we can understand the enormity of what she's done um, from start to finish, but um, we're definitely just focusing on the 2019 team with her leading it. Reporting for Inside LSU Gymnastics, I'm Garrett Wolbert. Gotta love SEC Saturdays. What are you doing here? What are you doing here, Marty? I'm surprised you need anything else. It's just a few essentials. Come on, brother. We haven't even gotten to the shoes yet. Marty Smith, your third card is ready at the front. It's times like these when you've got to stay centered. The 2018 Nissan Rogue, with available Pro Pilot Assist that can help keep you centered in your lane. Experience it only at your local Nissan store. Now the most exciting tech you own is in your driveway. Get to Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. <laughs> This is the Nelson family. Wi-Fi's good. And their panoramic Wi-Fi from Cox. Connected here. They're helping us demonstrate the speed and coverage of its super fast signal. Here it comes. It covers every device and every inch of their home. He's coming back up. And with extenders, every room is connected. Cover every corner of your home with super fast panoramic Wi-Fi from Cox. At Deli DeBosia, we're proud to serve Tiger Nation as the official injury lawyers of LSU Athletics. To us, that means when one of you gets knocked down, we're there to pick you up. And hopefully, we're making Louisiana a little safer in the process. We take pride in fighting for our fellow Tiger fans. It's a great responsibility, but even a greater honor. Demand Dudley DeBosia, the official injury lawyers of LSU Athletics. 444-4444. The 2019 SEC Gymnastic Championship is headed to New Orleans, Louisiana on Saturday, March 23rd. Where the elite student athletes in the country will compete for the SEC Gymnastics Championship title. We'll see you in the Big Easy at Smoothie King Center on March 23rd. For more information and to purchase your tickets, visit secsports.com. SEC Gymnastics, it just means more. When you're more than a fan, the game never ends. Greatness doesn't live in the end zone, at the net, or above the rim. It lives within every LSU student athlete. And it's your calling to bring out their greatness. On the field, in the classroom, 
and in life. We are the Tiger Athletic Foundation. For decades, we've been the team behind our Tigers. Join us. Be more than a fan. This segment of Inside LSU Gymnastics is brought to you by Dow. Dow. For more than 60 years, Dow has been a dedicated teammate for LSU. Go Tigers! Time now for our Assurance Financial look ahead. Assurance Financial lending the way home buyers prefer it. Week two, jumping right into the Southeastern Conference. Didi, you go over to the plains of Auburn. Yeah. It's an arena that we know well, but you've always said that between week one and week two is an opportunity to make some of the biggest improvements of the season. Yeah, you know, the difference in winning and losing is just a, a that much and you know we feel like we've got to get that much better mm -hmm. each week and you know you have some some uh, young ladies that will be in the lineup yep. as freshmen going on their very first road trip that's right as well so an opportunity for learning there but an opportunity for your veterans probably to step up and take a lead I would imagine well and you know this is this is how we do it this is the LSU Tiger way and this is what we do and you know we, we're hoping we'll have some fans there and mm -hmm. it'll be you know exciting for us but it's mostly the beginning of the season the beginning of that SEC schedule which we hold very very important and uh, we want to we want to win the season and speaking of that it's never too early to look ahead to the next home meet it's in it's in a couple of weeks the Florida Gators come in you need to get on to LSU sports.net you need to go to LSU yeah. ticks.net and you need to grab what tickets remain for LSU in Florida at our next home meet you know because we said it's better in house it's better in house <laughs> and it's still it is cheaper Good than a movie, movie. <laughs> <laughs> well for head coach DD bro I'm Mike Smith oh this has been fun year number seven let's keep it going shall go we? tigers go tigers indeed come on back in one week's time and we'll have another edition of inside lsu gymnastics Brown was treated to two perfect tens